Aberdeen has been a busy international port for nearly 900 years and its harbour is the oldest existing business in the UK. Over the years, the port has grown and changed with fishing giving way to the oil and gas industry and passenger vessels. In 2017, Aberdeen Harbour Board began its ambitious plan to create a completely new harbour just south of the city. South Harbour will be able to handle much larger vessels with 1,400 metres of quayside and a depth of 10 metres. Van Ord was commissioned to undertake dredging work for the new harbour. The job started uh, to make a survey from the, the, how the situation is now under the water. Then they're making a profile how they want to have it. The profile they can put in the computer so the operator can see where and what he must dredge. The nature of the material to be dredged, to be soft material together with boulders inside, there was a need for a big dredger. The Goliat is one of the most capable machines in the world to do this job. That's why she was brought in here together with the split hopper barges. The depth of the harbour meant that our dredgers, Resender Ball and Goliath, were perfect for the job. The Goliath is one of the biggest dredging backhoes, back actors of the world. We felt that it would be possible to do the dredging by the Goliath in that way, eliminating the need for drilling and blasting on the project. And we succeeded in that one, of dredging all the hard rock with the Goliath. The Goliath is special because of the size of the bucket. So the biggest one is 42 cubes. Also the speed of the machine, that's unbelievable. Dredged rock has been used within the core of the South Breakwater. The remaining soft material was transferred to one of our hopper barges. Our hopper barges transport the material and offload it in a designated area offshore. It was around one and a half million cubic metres of soft material what has been uh, taken out of the Nick Bay area. It is important to minimise impact on the environment and rich wildlife in the surrounding area. Here around uh, the South Harbour, we have seen uh, several marine mammals. We have seen grey seals, harbour seals, bottlenose dolphins, a minke whale, and on one occasion we saw a humpback whale. So each trip carried a marine mammal observer, whose job was to make sure no wildlife was present before the load was deposited. It's important to have MMOs on this project because we want to make sure we don't harm the environment. So we want to make sure before we dispose material that there are no mammals in the area. Only when the MMO is satisfied that the risk to wildlife is low is the load released. In 2021, Van Ord was also awarded the contract to build the revetment and South Breakwater. This structure includes hundreds of thousands of tons of rock and over 5,000 concrete acropodes. Van Ord completed the dredging work and continues to work on the southern breakwater, protecting the new harbour. Aberdeen is in the north of uh, the United Kingdom in Scotland, uh, where weather can be quite harsh. It slows you down, but with a good planning and a forecast of the weather and a good anticipation of what is going to happen, you can overcome these kind of challenges. I'm proud to work on this project because of the people I work with. This kind of project I like because it's very hard and we are the only one who can dredge it. That's nice. The project is really diverse in there is dredging, construction of a revetment, concrete work, the south breakwater to be built. So you have everything in one project what makes it really exciting to be here. The new South Harbour is the largest marine infrastructure investment in the UK and will make a huge difference to the economies of Scotland and the wider UK. It is a state-of-the-art facility which will secure Aberdeen's future. Van Ord is proud to have played a part in its construction. <laughs>